going to get you that wrestling trial before you can say Hulk Hogan. What do you mean? Well, Jesse's about to use the power of the airwaves. This is Jessica Spano for Spano Speaks. There were a lot of snorts and grunts heard at Bayside yesterday, and they weren't just from the sweaty, red-faced wrestlers. They were from the snouts of Bayside's two biggest sexist pigs, Coach Sonsky and Principal Richard Belding. Whoa, be careful. Way to go, Jesse. I'd like to present them with the Double Swine Award. <laughs> I say if a woman wants to wrestle with the grunts, that's her business. So fellow students, support women's rights. Jesse, thanks for helping me make the team. Well, hey, I just stood up for what I believed in. Oh, she's a cute little feminist, isn't she? <laughs> You're on thin ice, Bubba. Hey, um, do you, uh, have a date for the prom? Uh, no, not yet. How about you? Well, not exactly. You know, I'm still narrowing it down. You think that, uh, I don't know, you perhaps would, uh... Slater, are you asking me to go to the prom with you? Maybe. You interested? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe pick you up at seven? No. I'll pick you up at seven. Okay, I've got our entire evening planned for Saturday. You do? Well, so do I. All right, you go first. Okay, we begin with a romantic dinner at Cafe Diane, and then on to the ballet. Ballet? <laughs> Come on, Jesse, get real. You know how hard it was for me to get these LA Raider tickets? Football? There's nothing romantic about a bunch of barbarians kicking each other's butts. Oh, yeah? Well, what's romantic about a guy in pink tights tippy-toeing around pretending to be a swan? You know, I should have known better than to go steady with a sexist pig. Well, oink, oink, baby. And if you don't like it, go steady with some other pig. Maybe I will. Goodbye. We need those uniforms. Too late, and we don't need them. What this school needs is a dance department. Great idea, Jesse. I second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a terrible idea. All opposed? Nay. Nay. Oh, no, 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 no. You've got the wrong animal. Horses say nay. Pigs say oink. Look, let me tell you something. Let me know. No, 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 no. Listen up, everybody. Because two weeks from tonight, we are holding the annual Miss Bayside Beauty Pageant. Yeah! All right! All right. Hey. Swim suit, swim suit, swim suit, swim suit, swim suit, swim suit. All right, all right, all right. The lucky winner will then go on to compete for the title of Miss High School California. Right. A beauty pageant? What a stupid, sexist waste of time! Not if you're in a teeny bikini, mama. <laughs> I can't believe it. A woman ran for vice president, a woman sits on the Supreme Court, and Belding still wants us parading around in bathing suits. But Jesse, when those women go swimming, don't they wear bathing suits too? Ooh, let's see who count on that one, Jesse. <laughs> Kelly, we're human beings, not sex objects. I just don't want to be judged on my measurements. Well, why not? You got some great ones. Yeah. <laughs> Every beauty pageant just takes us one step backwards in our war against sexism. Hey, Jesse, I heard you signed up for the race. That could be dangerous. Listen, Porky, <laughs> women are just as qualified as men to race those ATM. Those AT&T. <laughs> those, those things. They're called ATVs. And I'm not talking about women, I'm talking about you. It does not take a male brain to drive one. Yeah? Well, I watched you take your driver's test and the instructor sat in the back seat praying. You're so funny. Pardon me if I don't die laughing. I think pretend marriage is a great way to learn about life. I think a pretend honeymoon would be better. I pretend you didn't say that. <laughs> What's wrong with it, Mrs. Slater? Mrs. Slater, if I really married you, I wouldn't use your last name. Well, whose last name would you use? Mine. <laughs> this chick's crazy. <laughs> I bet you want me to have the kids, too. You think you have the stomach for it? <laughs> Very funny. But I would expect you to stay home and take care of them. Well, lots of men stay home and take care of the kids when the wife works. The wife works? 
Yeah, I like that concept. You stay home and watch Young and the Restless. You sound like the blonde and the useless. <laughs> All right, everyone. Now, today, we've turned the classroom into a newlyweds apartment. Our first couple is Mr. and Mrs. Slater. Spano Slater, please. How modern. <laughs> Here's your situation. You both work and arrive home at dinner time, and you're hungry, OK? Places. Let's watch, darling. It can only help us grow together. <laughs> OK. I'm home. Great. I'm starved. Oh, me too. What are you fixing for dinner? <laughs> Nothing. I'm a guy. Slater. Well, why don't you just call me what you usually call me? Oh, what's that? Tiger man. <laughs> Look, Slater, since we both work, we should share the household chores. Fine. You cook, I'll eat. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of the women's movement? Well, sure. Put on something cute and move it into the kitchen. <laughs> Mr. Belding, he doesn't want a wife. He wants a maid. Slater, you're ordering for me again. Well, I can't help it, Jesse. I think the husband should be the man. If the husband's a real man, he wouldn't be threatened by a woman who knows what she wants. 